Go ahead and we're going to share, host your watch parties. Let's get everybody on. Let's see what's going on for Freedom Friday. We have big plans for the weekend. Even if we're still social distancing, we're at home and we're ready for this day. So let's get it going. Let's get it going. I'm excited. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you guys for being on. Hey, Juanita. Hey, Michonne. Go ahead and like and share, like and share. As um, you get your friends on, you tell them, hey, it's time for us to get it this morning. And most of us have already been up for quite some time anyway, because we've been on the God Zone, because that's how we jumpstart that morning with that awesome energy from Avril and Ruth, though. It's like, oh my goodness, um, this week we have been definitely getting it popping. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that this morning. So good morning, Juanita. Good morning, Celeste. Good morning, good morning, my love. Hey, Kiki. Good morning, Christy. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you all for tuning in. As you all see, I'm already hyped. I was like, Lord, I done started getting um, hot in here in my prayer. But good morning. Good morning. It's time for us to get it popping. Please like and share, like and share as we get on. Tell a friend, tag a friend. I hope you guys have had a great week because this week for me has been pretty awesome. I have learned so much about myself. I've been able to add to my toolkit. People have been pouring into me. It has been a phenomenal week. I got to tell you, I'm so grateful and I'm excited about today. Good morning, Cindy. Good morning, Avril. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's get it going, guys. Host those watch parties. Tell them it is time. Today, we are taking the steps. Take the steps, take the steps. I know you guys see those cement steps behind me. You're like, okay, Trina. If we're going to take some steps, do we have to take the cement steps? Does it have to be hard? Does it have to be hot? Y'all understand in a minute. Let's get it going. Let's get it going. Good morning, Kurt. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank y'all for tuning in. I'm going to go ahead and um, just kind of jump right in. So the other day, you know how Facebook, when you go on, it gives you these memories where you can go and see, um, you know, what has happened this particular day so many years ago, like it'll show you one year, four years, nine years, whatever the case might be. So I was able to um, just take a look, let's see, there we go. Yeah, I was able to go ahead and um, kind of, you know, see some things from my past. And one thing that popped out was when I was in the process of getting ready to for our wedding. So I saw a picture of myself and it was Keenan and it was my girlfriend who actually served as my wedding facilitator. And I was so grateful. I took a screenshot of it and I sent it to her and she was like, oh, I remember, you know, and it was a good time for us that as we're getting ready to celebrate our four year anniversary, Frank and I, you know, I was just like, God, I remember working with um, my friend and you know, one thing that stood out about her, she was always a positive um, person, always a breath of light, no matter what was going on. That was her, um, that's who she was. But in her emails, she would always end them as her signature, it was signed and it would say onward and upward. And I didn't understand it then, but as I started in my journey and building my relationship with Christ, I totally understood the onward and upward because what I knew about my friend was that she was going through so many battles on email with people. People were just negative. It was just, it was a, um, a, a struggle for her. And I realized that I said, you know what? As she put at the end of that email onward and upward, it would be a reminder for her to stay the course, to stay focused. No matter what's going on around you, you're going to go on and you're going to look up because that's where your help is going to come from. So I was like, you know what? That made sense for me. You know, not giving up, just staying focused, staying the course. And as good morning, good morning. And as I thought about that, I said, you know, when I reflected on this week and, and I, I do daily reflections, but this week has been nothing short of amazing um, for me. Again, I've had the opportunity to be spiritually and mentally filled up, fueled by other people, even when they didn't know that they were pouring into me. I've had the ability to speak to so many people and to learn just from them and their walks in life. And, you know, over and over, and I thought, I was like, okay, Lord, we have already solidified faith. That is a topic that we're good on. We're ready, we ready to rock and roll. And that thing just kept dropping in my spirit. I am a host for a camp series of women, and we meet every Wednesday. And this week, again, it, that series has been on faith. So I was like, okay, we're coming back again. Here we are. We're, we're back in that area of faith. And as I 
was thinking about one of the messages that somebody spoke to me, you know, they said, well, they reflected on one of my messages. They said, I remember you talking about the fact that we have to walk forward and not, um, you know, not be looking backward. And I was like, yeah, I know. And it's sometimes hard to do because we want to revert back to what was easy, what's familiar for us. So sometimes it is very difficult for us to just keep our eyes fixed on him. I said, but when we have a difficulty doing that, that means that our faith is wavering. That means we don't really trust him the way that we should. And as I was thinking about that, I said, you know, I, I'm looking right now at my vision board from this year. And I was looking at the one from last year. And I could see the a picture of a woman walking up some stairs, similar to the stairs that you see behind me. And I was thinking about myself when I was at Miami Dade Community College. I went there on a basketball scholarship, y'all. And we would have to run stairs that look like the stairs that are behind me, those concrete stairs. And what I realized about the stairs was it was always easy going down the stairs it was hard when we were running up the stairs you know it was like oh my goodness as you're running up the sun is beaming down on you it's like you gotta lift your legs a little bit higher you gotta pay attention so you don't trip and fall because it's concrete stairs and you definitely don't want to do that and i'm like god you know but it helped us to build up our strength our endurance but it was a journey it was exercise so this morning i want to ask a question why do we find ourselves in life getting stuck on the stairs why is it i think about sometimes when i used to be in buildings and people say oh i just wait on the elevator and i'm not a real big elevator person you know I, i'm like okay i'll take the stairs and meet you down and it's like why would you take the stairs why would you want to do that that's harder it's easier to press the button and just wait on the elevator and i'm like no i would rather get my steps in i'd rather exercise because i don't want to take the easy route you know i'm like every time that i press a button that it might be easier for me but did i learn a lesson when i press the button but when i'm taking them stairs and i'm going up or i'm going down it gives me a time to it gives me time to think to exercise to look to see what's going on around me because i don't want it to be easy because what i realized in 40 five years of life is when something was super easy it just didn't always pan out so i'd rather go ahead and take that difficult time i'd rather go ahead and build up my strength and endurance and i'll go ahead and keep it moving going up those stairs so you know and like i said many of you can connect as well as it relates to going up and down those stairs because we all work out we want to do it in the easiest way we want to see those results very quickly but if we don't take them steps if we don't get them in it's not going to work. And as I thought about that, I was like, you know what, Lord, growth is painful. It's super uncomfortable. But in order for us to even exercise our faith, it's going to require some a certain level of um, um, discomfort. It's going to require us to do things just a little bit different. I know that's right, Nora. There isn't an unseen benefit in taking those stairs. This morning, guys, I was looking at Isaiah 43 and 18, and I'm just going to read it. It says, do not cling to events of the past or dwell on what happened long ago. Watch for, um, watch for the thing that I'm going to do. Watch for the new thing that I'm going to do. It's happening already. You can see it now. I will make the road through the wilderness. I will make a road through the wilderness and give you streams of water there. So if God is saying he's going to do that, why do I want to take the easy way? Why wouldn't I take the steps? Why wouldn't I go through? Because he's going to make a path. He's going to give me the streams that I need. And I thought about that thing this morning as I was thinking about faith, as I was thinking about taking the steps and exercising our faith and building. I'm like, you know, a lot of times we are our own barrier. We're what's stopping us. It's not other people. It's us. We're getting stuck we're like oh my goodness i can't believe that they didn't give me this or they didn't do it. it's not they a lot of times it's us but what i also realize is we're not a tree we're not planted right there we can move whatever we believe in our mind that's what's going to come to pass so if it's coming out of my mind if it's in my mind and it's coming out of my mouth that's what it's going to be you know god expects us to use the tools that we have and there is strength and power in our tongue he allows us to use those things to pray, to call a thing as it is, to speak it, and it'll come into existence. You know, I was thinking about this um, week in the God Zone, and I actually wrote it down because I didn't want to forget anything. This week was a phenomenal week, and if you guys aren't tuning in and jumpstarting your morning with the God Zone, I promise you, you are missing out. This week, we did a series um, of acronyms, so we were able to 
um, each person that brought a message was able to speak and they used an acronym. And I just wanted to share with you the acronyms and I'm not going to um, spoil it for you. I'm going to tell you, you got to get on the God Zone so you can hear this information. On Monday, the acronym was big. It was Believe in God. And that was brought by Rutho Ocilian Similian. On Tuesday, the acronym was lit, Lord, I trust you. On Wednesday, it was high, held in God's hand. On Thursday, it was focused, faithful overcomer, conquering untimely situations. And today it was source, see opportunity and rise. Guys, we got to take the steps. Every time I, when I was looking and I was writing, I was thinking this morning, I'm like, okay, we got to get big. We got to stay lit. We can be high. We need to focus. And then we're going to soar. Because when you soar, guess what you're doing? You have gotten to that place where you need to be and you're letting your wings spread and you're just soaring. You're on his promises. You're resting in his promises and you're doing the things that you need to do. So that thing just really spoke to me and I wanted to drop those nuggets as it relates to those acronyms because I know we love them. Again, on Monday, we got big, believe in God. Tuesday, we were lit, Lord, I trust you. Wednesday, we were high, held in God's hands. On Thursday, it was focused, and I got to look, faithful overcomer, conquering untimely situations. And today was sore, see opportunity and rise. So we don't have to sit where we are. We have the tools, guys. We got to use the tools that he has given us so we can move forward. And we got to go ahead and we got to take the steps because when we take the steps, what happens is our eyes begin to open up. Our faith begins to stretch because we begin to exercise it. We begin to strengthen it. And this morning I was like, okay, Lord, why would I not want to take the steps? And I'm just going to go ahead and throw it in. There are some reasons that why we wouldn't take the steps. One, because we're lazy. A lot of people want to see the end. We want the all the stuff that comes at the end, the fruits of the labor, but we don't want to put the labor in. We got to do that. Uh, we don't want to do the work. Again, that's doing the labor. We want the position and the celebration, but we don't want everything that comes with it. We don't want to really be prepared for it. But what happens when you get the position and the celebration and you haven't prepared yourself for it, you don't keep it long. It's like a temporary thing. It's like, dog, I remember when. I don't want to remember when. I want to continue to soar. I want to stay in that thing. I want to have it. I want to hold on to it. I want his people to be able to be fed by me. I want to be able, want him to use me. However, I want to be empty every night I lay down so that the next morning he fills me right back up and I could come out and I can do his will, not mine, his will. A another thing that stops us from taking the steps is we end up being too self-centered instead of being God-centered. We get tired because we're like, oh, well, I don't feel like doing it anymore because I we weren't in alignment with what he wanted anyway. It wasn't about him. It was about us. So that's how we can get tired quickly. And then again, we're lacking faith. But again, guys, we're going to take the steps so we can exercise our faith because we want better. We want more. We don't want to get stuck. But if we take the steps, it's going to help us. It's going to help us grow. And taking the steps sometimes is going to, not sometimes, it's, all, it's going to be difficult. You know, especially when you have that anointing on your life, you have that calling on your life, you'll think, okay, God said I was supposed to do this. He spoke this into me. He gave it to me. I see it. And then, bam, you're going to walk out the door and here comes adversity. But he gave it to you. Yeah, you're going to get it. And he's never going to fall short on his promise, but you're going to have to work. You're going to have to strengthen yourself. So some of the things that I do is, number one, I said, you know what, if we paid attention to the ifs in the Bible, because there are 1,595 accounts of the word if, it'll speak to our willingness and our responsibility. So y'all know I, I wrote some of those ifs down. If we have a willing heart, think about it. If you are obedient, you shall eat of the good fruit of the land, Isaiah 1 and 19. If you obey the commandments of the Lord, your God, Deuteronomy 11 and 26. If you walk in my ways to keep my statutes, my commandments, then I will lengthen your days. 1 Kings 3 and 14. If you do these things, you will never stumble. 2 Peter um, 1, 5 through 10. If you believe all things are possible, Mark 9, 23. So guys, if we do what he says we're supposed to do, it's going to come to pass. We're going to grow in that thing. We're going to be, a, we're going to be fine taking the steps. We will look for the steps because we'll want to be ready. We'll want to be built up. 
Another thing is we got to start loving on the next level and we got to start loving ourselves on the next level. A lot of us so freely give love to everybody else because we don't feel like we're worthy of it. And we got to start with us. We got to start loving us people. It's so many of us that put on the fake smile, the, the fake clothes. We do every, all of the other fake stuff. And, you know, we run out into the world and it's like, okay, y'all, I love y'all. I'm here for y'all. I support you, sis. Yeah, I'm here. I'm here and I'm there. But then when it comes time for you to give yourself that same, that same love, we can't find it. It's difficult for us because we don't really like the person that we see. We haven't sat down to center ourselves with him, to get in alignment with him, to spend time with him so he can love on us and pour that love. We're looking for everybody else to do it and we can't give it to ourselves. No, we got to start loving on us. We got to start with us so we can believe the best for us and we believe it for everybody else. But you got to start with yourself because it's difficult. You will run out. You will tap out quick if you don't have it for yourself you got to make sure you have it here before you can start giving it to everybody and that last thing is increasing your patience and when i say increase our patience and i'm talking to me now i'm all in my wheelhouse right now it means bible patience not our little carnal patience where it's like well i was waiting 15 minutes they ain't come now i'm gone no his patience bible patience where he said it's gonna happen and they were out wandering for 40 years, but they were waiting on that thing to come. Where he said, the baby is going to come, and she was believing for it. Where he said, okay, you're going to be healed, and but you have to do X, Y, Z. And it's like, you know what? I don't care how far I have to walk. I don't care how hot it is. I don't care if I don't have no shoes. Whatever it is, I'm going to walk. I'm going to get there. Where a man would run to get and climb up in a tree just so he can have a glimpse. That kind of patience where you're like, I'll do whatever it takes, Lord. Whatever you say, I'm going to do it so that I can get there, so that I can be there. We got to make sure that we're willing to exercise patience. Guys, I'm going to um, kind of wrap up with 1 Corinthians 15 and 10, and it says, by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace, which is bestowed upon me, was not in vain, but I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I, but the grace of God that was in me. So guys, it's in us. He's And he's ready for us to walk into our abundance he's ready for us to walk into our purpose and so many of us are even in this season and i and i'm guilty at 45 i'm just realizing we're not a, a last couple of years what my purpose is in life but you know what it's never too late because where he is and he has he knows the time for us and I, his timing is going to be perfect so my loves as we wrap up understand we got the roadmap we know what we need to do we are not trees we're not stuck we can get up we have to take the steps so that we can build our endurance we got the blueprint it's already there laid out we just need to take his tools and move as my friend would say onward and upward and i'm gonna say take the steps make a choice today what will you do that's going to be different how are you going to exercise your faith how are you going to strengthen yourself how are you going to be the best you that you can be how are you going to start loving on you so you can give love freely to other people and sometimes we give love too freely to other people and when we start getting that alignment with him he'll give us discernment and wisdom and we'll be able to kind of block him off and say okay nope that's not what he has for me that's not who he wanted me to um, surround myself with so this time I have to say no so guys as we wrap up I want to tell each and every one of you guys I love you I love you I love you it is freedom Friday and let's take the steps literally and let's take the steps as it relates to you know where we're going what we're doing in our lives you know what we're trying to build we need to take the steps it's not about the easy way and sometimes we're going to take the steps and we're going to be by ourselves and you see that concrete that means it's going to be hot because the sun is going to be coming down on us and the, and the heat from the concrete is going to be rising up but we need to take the steps so that we can be prepared so that we can exercise our faith so we can exercise our strength and we will be ready when we get to the place that he has for us we won't be wavering you know we won't be doubting we won't uh, none of that fear and anxiety when it comes in we'll be able to bounce it right off of us and keep moving and keep ourselves affixed on what he has for us so guys i love you on freedom friday remember we're going to take the steps god bless each and every one of you and have a fantastic weekend and we look forward to seeing you on motivation monday i love you and have a great weekend Bye bye